<laughs> Bloody hell! I just want to walk the dog and mow the arse in lawn! What else is going on? Always, always, always will be Aboriginal land! <laughs> we'll do what everybody else does! <laughs> Get off your lazy asses! And go to an auction and buy some! Do we want to become an advisory body to the colonial system? <laughs> Let me enlighten our indigenous First Nations people! <laughs> this <laughs> stick waving, brain dead bimbo ain't the answer! And this poor ginger nutted white kid looks like she'd prefer to be at home playing with her cabbage patch dolls. <laughs> Surely there's a First Nations indigenous elder that can talk some sense to this brain dead indigenous First Nations nunghead. Marcus Stewart is a proud Nira Ilum Bullock man of the Tungarung Nation and joins us now. <laughs> Something doesn't look right! <laughs> Who's this white bloke with the ginger beard and the stupid hat? Oh, <laughs> won't you please enlighten us white folk, oh Truganini! I think that's forgotten in the in the debate that um, for us to progress treaty in this uh, in this country, we need voice. And nobody wants to hear from a whinging white bloke in a stupid hat. Dickhead! If not now, when? If not now, when will this change occur? And if not the people of Australia. And this year, uh, who will make this change which will screw our country? Okay, let's pop in and see what Elbow's up to and find out who this deaf mute in the cowboy hat is and what in the hell does he do? Um, I'm uh, very hopeful about uh, and optimistic about an outcome. Has this taxpayer-funded loafer had got anything intelligent to say? Or is he and his cowboy hat have been used as a movie prop? Why do we need another voice when this dickhead sits next to the Prime Minister all day? It's time for us to shift this... I had no idea that this deaf mute he could speak! And now here's a hat he you should be wearing, considering your dad is an Irishman! <laughs> now stop sitting around like an indigenous leprechaun doing jack shit! <laughs> Maybe you could send these little shitheads down to Melbourne and they can join the chairman's rainbow marches! <laughs> this is the only person who should be calling the shots if she's been right all along. Uh, sorry. Dickhead! Have we no doubt about that? Mr Albanese also responded to criticism that he spent more time at the Australian Open than in Alice Springs. Uh, sorry. Amid the Territory's ongoing crime crisis. I work each and every day Work. I didn't have time to time off. Uh, for, uh, I need to take Kanto for a walk. <laughs> Just have a look at this grinning egghead. <laughs> Australia <laughs> has fallen. Super electricity. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for joining me, along with these other assholes.